it's too bright. Couldn't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah, either way, guys, we're going to cut into the other side of Loser's Quarters as soon as these players are ready. Rosalina and Luma. I know that's that's Wizzy's secondary, but I don't think he's going to use it. No, I don't think so either. I not think, against, uh, not against two Bayonettas. No, I, exactly, yeah. Even though Mario's not exactly the favorite to win that matchup, there's no reason to switch off of him if you have that level of experience difference. And Salem's still sitting on Why the stage, bro. Sitting what, there? what are you doing there? <laughs> huh? Wait, did they Wait, check. Did they already play? Yeah, maybe they played off stream. <laughs> no, I don't believe they did play. Oh, Mistaken Tweak already won. So, okay, it is just going to go right into loser's Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. All right, oh. Mutace and Salem versus Mistake and Tweak. So, a potential quad Bayo match, or we may have the lone Peach from Oof. Mutace sticking around. I know his Bayo exists uh, and is pretty good, but you got to stick to your guns sometimes, even yeah. if your character doesn't have guns. Literal guns. Uh, this next set, at some point, may turn into one that's not for the faint of heart. Seeing four mm -hmm. Bayonettas on the screen. We all remember that Apex 2012. Doubles grand finals, don't. I, I love I love seeing that picture recreated, because first it was it was M MK obviously, and then it was Cloud Charging Limit. Yep. And I was just Bayonetta doing Witch Twist. Yep. Like, it, it's gonna it's never going to go away. If we can get four Witch times in a row, that would also be blessed. <laughs> All right. So like we said, Mistake and Tweak won the set over Mystery and Dark Wizzy three two, so they're gonna fall out at fifth place in the same fashion as Void and Cosmos did. Yep. And what are they? I don't know what. I don't that know. Was. These guys are, are goofballs. The Bayonetta players in Smash Four just like they live in their own world, man. They've, <laughs> they've got like their own language, their own memes, their own hand signals and handshakes. But it's all fun. I definitely like seeing it. Oh, what? Okay. Hold on. Okay. I like this pick. It's gonna be Diddy Kong from Tweak. Uh, this is so different from everything I was expecting to see. Yeah, right. No Bayo from Salem. That's really the the biggest shocker, I'd say. Or no, I'd say it's the Diddy Tweak. The, the, yeah. We yeah. saw it, the Diddy Tweak. I feel like it's only been seen on two occasions mm -hmm. on like national television. <laughs> he, he pulled it out at a random Xeno in 2016. Wait, really? Tweak? I didn't even know yeah, Tweak has been to Xeno before. When, remember when Diddy Kong first beat what? Right side? Yeah, I, like I said, the Bayonetta players just live in their own world. Wait, is this real? It is real. <laughs> it is certainly real. I'm not sure what to make of it. but <laughs> It just looks so funny. Oh, and the missed Witch Time from Mistake almost costing him a stock there. Salem, of course, going to be one of the best prepared to punish Bayonetta for whatever she decides to do. And there oh, we go, that, that landing lag, yeah. All right, now Tweak has to get back down to the ground here. Uh, Mistake going to come back and kind of clear a spot for him. Oh, the counter. Not going not gonna to do anything to hinder Bayonetta's recovery at all, but you still just get the extra damage. Yo, Witch Twist into Diddy Fair. And I don't know how much I like Diddy and Bayo together on the same team. I feel like Diddy is also an insanely good doubles character, but kind of like Sheik wants somebody like Lucina, like yeah. Corrin, to back him up for those early KOs. Either way, if you have the time, Bayonetta can do that, of course. It's just not uh, as pick up and go. Yeah. That forward air, though, basically plays the game for you sometimes. All right, Tweak just going to situate himself on the Smashville platform. Oh, Witch Time, this could be huge, but no, instead they're struggling to hit Mutace, being that the Witch Time started so high up there. This is still a pretty close game, all things considered, but if Mistake... Ooh, yeah, yeah terrible DI yeah, there. Mistake dropping the stock. I think he wanted to just drift back to the platform and didn't expect Salem to swing on him. Tweak going to get the down tilt up air, or down tilt up smash, rather, on to Mutace. The ladder combo is going to work on Salem. Yo! If he was at any higher percent, that could have been sick. Oh, man. Wait. Okay, nah, he, he is alive, man. Vanetta, of course, best recovery in the game by quite a notable margin. Yep. We're seeing the red team able to pull this one back, but a charge forward smash outlasting that air dodge from Tweak. Salem looking like he's a step ahead so frequently throughout these last couple sets. His Lucina's looking Mensa level. Yeah, just playing the point guard role to an absolute T. Oh, okay. I like the jump off of Monkey Flip just to make sure that Mutace is still going to be there in the event that Salem came to save him. Has to deal a little bit of damage to the team, but all of a sudden, this is back to exactly even. Salem and Mutace, man, becoming one of my favorite teams to watch, straight up. I like how they made the adjustment mid-game to... What just happened? Oh, you're done. That was weird. So I like how they were making the adjustment to really start trapping Tweak's Diddy on landings. 
No way! Lucina forward throw kill in 2018, bro? I don't, think, I don't think I've seen that kill, ever. Yeah, I had to wait until 2018 to see a kill. <laughs> like, I've never seen somebody die from that move. That, Even with that Smash was Bill and Rage and High Percents, I still would not have expected that. But hey, uh, yeah, it is I, what it is, and we've got Salem versus Tweeka, an age-old tri-state rivalry. You used to see these guys square off in grands and winners and losers finals of so many tournaments back at home. And uh, where are you swinging? Tweeka's not going to fall for that one, man. He fell for it once through that air dodge, but instead just going to clean up the 1v1 situation. Salem almost pulling that back, though. Yeah, almost. And that very Keyword, yeah. Yeah, very strange game one comes to a close. A lot of, a lot of strange things happen that game. Uh, my, mom, a lot of momentum shifts. Uh, the tweak Diddy is still kind of throwing me off guard because, like I said, we haven't seen it a whole lot. We saw it last week at SmashCon, and then a random local way back when Diddy was first starting to become a metagame menace again. Yeah. He's like, I I'm, I'm, might as well play him, right? I think this is before he fully committed to Cloud, just, just for context. You know what? I do now vaguely remember that yeah. happening. Yeah. That was fun times, man. Back in the day. But now we live in a different world of DLC, and... Hey man, you can't complain. It's in the game. Yep. You gotta fight it. Pick it up if you don't like it. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to win at the end of the day. That's all it really boils down to. Don't you mean? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. What do you mean now? Chic. Oh, work. Oh, true. Yeah. I'm living a much better life now. Yeah, for real. Alright, so game two. Is that a mm, KO? Yes it, is. yes, it is. A mistake going to live after that, too. Every time I see a bayonet that far off the side of the screen, I still get a little afraid of the, uh, the old days when that would happen, and they would throw the stock away in addition to getting the KO. But we've really gotten to the point where that's just an automatic stock most days of the week. Oh, and Mistake able to turn a ledge situation into a combo. Only got up B into dive kick, but still pretty respectable. It's more than most characters get when they're coming back from the ledge. Ooh, nice oh! Nice survivability from Mistake, and even better Woo! coverage from Salem. And we see it again, that back air. Two stocks in two seconds from Salem, putting his team in the lead. This guy has an eagle eye for those cheesy kills, man. Salem, just a seasoned veteran. I'd say the obvious veteran on the screen compared yep. to everyone else. This guy's a Brawl Apex champion, whereas pretty much all three of the others are new to Smash 4, at least in terms of in-person tournaments. Yep. And I guess those years of experience really add up and can benefit you a lot you're able to scout stuff out like that. Oh, good save from Tweak because that down air could have led to something insane from Salem if Tweak wasn't there to cover him. Oh, Salem trying to go and save Mute, but actually gets caught up in the combo himself. A little bit of a taste of his own medicine, too. Ooh, and Reverse monkey flip kick. Uh, uh, I want to believe it's Karma. I really I, do. Are you sure Diddy Kong's not DLC? Look, that, that move is DLC. Sometimes. There's no way that came on the <laughs> disc. <laughs> Gotta pay extra for content oh, like nice that. Nice dolphin slash. Break up that uh, ladder combo way at the top of the screen. Keep Mute safe. All right. Yeah, mistake throwing these witch times out. And another one on the banana, just for good measure. Give himself a little bit of invincibility to work with, too. But friendly fire right there that could put Tweak in a bad position. Now just going to take the low recovery. And Ooh. Salem not ready for it. Yeah, I don't think he was really expecting again. Wow. Really? Ready for that. Again? And that. A ledge jump, too, knowing that he needed that in order to get enough uh, vertical incredible uh, and a pipe yeah wow this is ridiculous and now we're just seeing people just kind of throw out buttons at this point but yeah. I don't I don't think when they were on the right I don't think Salem was ready for two to actually miss the ledge so it was like a like a mix-up in itself I don't, I don't know it, it was a really weird situation but luckily he was able to clean up the stock on the left side and then you saw that you got the, the, uh, the stock right after on mistake with another back air and oh no, he's alive. No, the, he's not. And the heroics come to a weird end once again. Strange things keep happening in this set. People are dying from from random back airs and rocket barrel boost and parasol oh! at the top. This is the craziest set of the day, except maybe the the Mars the winners finals one. And oh. yeah, well, that's something that we would expect to happen. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Something normal. Finally, happens. Something normal, and the fact that it's that is also just a little strange too. That was the most normal occurrence of the last 30 seconds of gameplay. Oh, man. So, game game three now. And I really do feel like these two games have been a whole set in themselves just with how many things have been going on. But it's 1-1. One, one, correct me if I'm wrong. No, it's 2-0. 2-0. For a mistaken tweak, yeah. Okay. Man. See, see like, I'm, I'm all out of yeah, luck now. Yeah, how could you keep track of it, right? Everyone just died. Everybody exploded there. But... 
Mistake and Tweak emerging on top yet again. We're going to see Salem switch off to Marth. Not sure what the rationale is here. He was doing so well with Lucina. He got so many of those cheesy kills just because he didn't have to space for a tipper on that back air. That's really what makes that character excel so much. Marth, you got to line that tipper up. It's kind of hard out of your opponent's knockback or your partner's knockback. I think the, the switch just speaks to the confidence that Salem has in himself. Rightfully so, because like you said, he's a... Oh, All right, you my know what? God. Let me just stop. It's literally oh. every single thing I've said or predicted has just gone completely wrong. And guys, I promise I'm not an idiot. I've been doing this for a long time. I know what I'm talking about generally. But these players, man, I swear they got a vendetta against me. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, I just officially give up. Oh, hey, wait. You got you this for the no, rest of the top eight, Tom? You, yeah, I got it. But you saw that, right? He, he tippered. Diddy Kong, but Diddy Kong was in a throw animation, so nothing happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, the clank. Yeah, because throws produce hitboxes. And that... Diddy Kong's throws and doubles, man, that's like, again, DLC in itself. Uh, they just end so quickly. The hitboxes they produce are long-lasting and clutch. But, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, tweak adding on that extra damage with that down there on the Witch Time punish. I like it. I like seeing Witch Time and Dubs because you see, start seeing the two-man punishes come out. Yeah, true. So you see a lot more damage, a lot more knockback angles than you would in singles. Uh-oh. Mistake, mistake with the pickup. Dude, this red team. Oh, my God. Blessed by Sakurai himself. I swear. This is ridiculous. So, even though the, the Marth pick for Salem worked out so well right from the jump, it is all go downhill for the blue team. Uh, yeah. A little, a little less downhill after that down air KO. If they get rid of Mistake, they yeah. have a fighting chance here. If they get the Sakurai Mistake. Plus, Marth has the X Factor in his own right, rather than wild raw swings at slightly higher percents. From pretty much as low as 50, you land that tipper forward smash, and you're off to the races. Yeah, you're done. All right, so it all comes down to whether they get the stock on Mistake or not. Mute Ace with the smart stall in the recovery there. It's Salem doing a little bit of stalling of his own, but he has no jump, but he's way out there. Mute Ace cannot save him, so he's going to drop the stock, and he has a share stock now. Ooh. And Salem has just been falling short of recovering so many times. It happened to him earlier in this game. It happened to him as Lucina in the oh, last match. Oh, the air dodge read from Mistake comes out, and they get the stock off of Salem at such a low percent. Is he going to kill him? Yeah, these guys love to play with their food. Oh, oh and what? it was a bait the whole time. Can't tell if Genius or Lucky Swag. I, uh, is that going to kill? No, not yet. Okay, what? I, I literally don't know what I'm watching at this point. I think it's a free-for-all. <laughs> that was so cool looking. I got to see a Rocket Bear kill right about now. I yeah, have to. yeah, that's that's your win condition here. That's, that's the only thing I want. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, we'll take Fair off the side, too. That was, that was pretty hot. So, pretty reckless, you know? The Tweak Diddy. Propelling Mistake and Tweak to a 3-0 victory over Salem and Mute Ace. Still struggling to process what I just saw. That was... Uh, Really wacky set. It very well could have been 2-0 for Mute Ace and Salem at any point, um, but it wasn't. So. Yeah, I feel like I paid for the wrong movie and still sat and watched the whole thing. Yeah, right? And still enjoyed it. It was a fun set to watch, a very nutty set to watch, and you were going to see Mistake and Tweak move on to what I believe is now Losers Finals. That it is, and they're going to be taking on Mars and Kool-Aid. Team New England, hometown heroes once again.